Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to do some wintertime urban stealth camping, and there's a good reason for it. It's not really a planned deal, but I recently installed a Chinese diesel heater in the back of my 2019 Chevy Silverado. Uh, something I've kind of been eyeing for a while. Uh, traditionally I camp with a buddy heater in the back. Uh, it works pretty well. A couple downsides of the buddy heater. It's not vented so you get a little moisture in there. Plus there's carbon monoxide to some degree to worry about. So uh, this thing should act kind of like a forced air furnace where it vents on the outside. So as long as everything goes well, it's vented, so carbon monoxide shouldn't be an issue. And the heat that it produces is a nice dry, uh, warm heat. So anyway, I installed it in the truck uh, about a week ago. I haven't really got to test it out um, for an overnight, I guess. So before I go drive somewhere to the lake to go fishing or to the river or up in the mountains to do some other winter camping, I want to make sure I got everything right so tonight will kind of be the the dry run if you will make sure it works and I thought no better way than to just find a parking lot and and uh, try it out instead of out in front of the house so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna cook a little dinner uh, it's about nine o'clock uh, it's 30 degrees outside the low tonight is 20 so it should be a pretty decent test for the heater itself and uh, you know assuming everything goes well with urban stealth camping uh, you know you got to kind of be careful about where you park uh, the place you pick to camp and uh, just try to keep a low profile as to not draw attention to you and uh, hopefully everything goes smooth there too so anyway I'm gonna go try to find a place uh, not sure where I'm going yet got a couple options around here I got uh, Walmart a Lowe's and a Costco all kind of in this general vicinity so going to kind of do a drive-by over there and see what things look like scope it out a little bit uh, see which one I'm most comfortable with and uh, go from there so stay tuned All right, I made it to the Walmart parking lot. Uh, it's kind of a Walmart slash Lowe's shared parking lot kind of deal. And uh, the bad news is there's all these no overnight parking signs literally everywhere. Every light pole, every shopping cart stand, every entrance and exit to the parking lot has one. And uh, I know Walmart typically allows uh, overnight parking, but this one doesn't look like it does. So I know some don't due to local ordinances and whatnot. There is a, a pickup with a fifth wheel. I don't know if you can see it. And I don't know if he's just parked there or if he's staying there, but uh, still an option, but I'm gonna go check out Costco and see what that looks like. I don't really need to have someone knock on the window in the middle of the night and kick me out of here. So uh, I'm gonna go scope out another parking lot and kind of make my decision from there. So I made it over to Costco. Uh, this definitely looks like the best option. Uh, I drove around the parking lot, checking it out. I didn't see any signs that said uh, overnight parking is prohibited. Uh, and I did read online that a lot of Costco's do allow overnight parking. So I don't think I'm gonna have any issues. The parking lot is pretty empty. Uh, doesn't look like there's many cars. This area, however, does have a lot of restaurants, uh, hotels, other businesses, things like that. So there's a little bit of traffic floating around, but you know, I think it'll be a pretty quiet night. So assuming all goes well, I'll be able to get a good night's sleep uh, with the diesel heater keeping me warm when it's, you know, 20 degrees out tonight. And uh, hopefully no one disturbs me so I can actually get some sleep. So anyway, I'm gonna climb in the back and uh, start up that diesel heater, let it warm up a little bit and uh, get some dinner going. So I'll jump back there and catch you then. out here this is my setup I know you've probably seen it in other videos but it works pretty well so basically I added the diesel heater inside the sleeping platform it's powered off a battery that's also mounted in there and uh, so what I'm gonna do tonight is use these little temperature guys here you got one for inside one for outside which I'll put on the bumper of the truck or something and uh, should give me a good idea about how warm it is inside versus outside tonight and how cold it actually gets. So what I'm gonna do is uh, get all my stuff ready, 
hop back in here before anyone really catches on to what's going on back here and uh, get this heater fired up. So this is the exhaust pipe for the diesel heater. As you can see, it kind of comes out underneath the bumper there. Not really a permanent setup. What I'm gonna do is to clean it up a little bit, I'm going to cut that off further underneath, make it invisible uh, when you're not using it, and then just make a slip on pipe that will exhaust out from under the truck when I'm actually using it. Uh, basically just to, you know, you won't be able to tell it's under there. It looks kind of hinky like this, but uh, you know, I'm just trying it out and it's kind of just a test run, so uh, it should work just fine, but pretty much that's what that looks like. Back up here a little bit. You can see parking lot pretty empty. No one's around. It's about 9.30ish at night, so pretty nice night actually. Not too windy, but definitely a little chilly outside. I got a lot of remnant snow on the ground from the past week. It's been pretty snowy here. We got a couple hotels over there and obviously the gas station there, so... What I'm going to do, since the heater's up and running now, I'm going to climb in the back and uh, get the temperature set to where I want it. Alright, so this little guy here is the thermostat or controller that came with my little 2 kilowatt diesel heater. Uh, there are lots of different styles of these if you look around Amazon or eBay. Uh, this is the style that came with mine. Uh, other units come with, with different looking ones, so the instructions aren't really good on how to operate it through this thermostat. But uh, there's enough information out there on the internet to uh, to get a decent feeling about it. The instructions are, are almost worthless, honestly. So it's a, kind of a little bit of uh, experiment as you go. But basically, this 2.0 is kind of in the middle setting. So if you go to the buttons here, you can ramp it up. It'll go up to 3.2, which is the highest setting. Most heat, most fan speed. And you can probably hear it ramp up a little bit. And then we can ramp it down to, I think it goes down to one. Not sure where I'm going to try sleeping with it set at tonight. Uh, it doesn't really have an off mode. It, it doesn't turn off on its own, I should say. Uh, basically, it, it stays running at whatever setting you have it at. It does have a timer in it, which I haven't played with yet, and I probably won't play with that tonight. But uh, yeah, basically at 1.0, you can barely hear it, just barely tripping along, but still making heat. So kind of play with this a little bit and see, you know, what the temperature's like after it runs for a little bit. It's still pretty chilly back here, so it feels pretty good, but probably going to turn it up to around 2 and uh, let it run at that and then see where that gets us after a little bit here. So this is underneath my sleeping platform. This is where I actually have the diesel heater installed. and. Uh, it's bolted down to the bed of the truck and it has an intake, you know, a clean fresh air uh, pipe that goes underneath and then it has an exhaust that comes out underneath that goes out the back of the truck and that's basically how it operates. The air that comes out of the, the ducting there is just circulated air from inside the truck. There's no combustion process with that air and so basically it comes in the back side of that fan, comes out that end, through there to this duct that I have out here and uh yeah you just get nice hot air so pretty cool setup it's running well right now what i think i'm going to do is get settled in here a little bit and start dinner so what you're seeing here is the diesel tank for the diesel heater and uh, i'm curious how much diesel it'll take to run that thing all night long and so i'm gonna kind of keep an eye on there's about a gallon of diesel in there right now so i'm going to keep an eye on that fuel line and in the morning check it and uh, see how much it used to heat the back of this truck for an overnight. I got the old reliable Coleman butane stove all set up here ready to go in the back of the truck. Um, this little folding table from Lifetime, if you have a Lifetime store, I think you can order them online too. Um, pretty slick, it folds up and out of the way, but it's perfect to cook on in the back of the truck. Um, but anyway, for dinner, when I was at Walmart, I was looking for something to cook and uh, in the frozen section they had this bird's eye voila, I guess, and this is cheesy ranch chicken. Basically it's one of those kind of all-in-one frozen concoctions you, uh, you heat up in a pan and uh, it sounded kind of good, never had it before, so get this thing rolling and uh, give it a shot, see if it's any good. Sauce in. 
Smells good. All right, we'll see what happens. While that food is cooking, I decided I would check out the thermometer here, and uh, man, what a difference. I've had it running for maybe 10 to 15 minutes, and it's probably around medium, maybe to medium high setting on the diesel heater. And you can see it's 63 in here and 28 outside. So man, that's awesome. Uh, it's proving to be a good investment. Now uh, they're pretty cheap around, this one was like 110 bucks. And uh, we'll see what the rest of the night brings, but so far so good, that is awesome. Well, the food's coming along here pretty nice. It smells pretty good too. Super simple. Looks good, smells good, hopefully it tastes good. A couple more minutes here and I'll find out. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Food's done, looks awesome. Can't wait to eat it here, we'll get this off here. Food is done. It actually looks pretty darn good. Not bad for 10, 15 minutes in the back of the truck. So what I'm gonna do now is put a movie on, kick back for a little bit, relax, and uh, eat my dinner. This stuff's delicious. Man, super easy to make, 15 minutes of time. No preparation, just dump it in a pan and make it. Highly recommended. Well, I think I'm going to sit and finish the rest of my dinner here. Uh, put a movie on the DVD player and uh, relax for a little bit and catch up with you before bed. Oh, man. Well, I ate my dinner, got done watching a movie, and I'm about ready for bed. My little diesel heater has been running for oh, a little over two hours now and uh, with excellent results on my dad. It's uh, 72 degrees in the truck, according to my little temperature gauge, and uh, 26 degrees outside, so that is excellent. I have it set at about one third of its overall capability, so there's still room to turn it down, which I'll probably do before I go to bed. I don't want to get too hot when I'm trying to sleep. Um, but really, it's such a huge improvement over the buddy heater that I used to use in here. Uh, there's no moisture on the windows, no condensation because it's vented outside versus the buddy heater that's not vented. And uh, man, it's just a really nice heat in here. It's not, not too much. Uh, I, it's adjustable, whereas the buddy heater is just either low or high. So this is great. Um, really good addition to the back of the truck. I'm really excited to take it on a longer trip, you know, either out to the river where I go fishing this time of year or up in the mountains at elevation or when it's colder up you know maybe zero or or below zero it'd be really nice to try it out there so now that i've given this a good test run you know hopefully through the night we're all good uh, i'll have confidence to take it on a longer trip or a different trip uh, down the road so anyway i'm gonna kind of get ready for bed here and uh call it a night but we'll see you guys in the morning Ooh. Ugh, good morning. Oh man, slept really, really well. And I can't tell you how awesome it is to wake up to warmth in the back of the truck. You know, normally I would have to get my buddy heater going and you know, that takes a little bit of time to warm everything up, but I can't say enough good things about this diesel heater. That was an awesome addition to this truck. Now, I've only run, this is the first night I've run it, but uh, you know, no malfunctions overnight. It's still running just the way it was when I went to sleep last night. <sighs> and the results were really, really good. Let's check my little temperature gauge here and see what it says. All right, so I turned it down to one of the lowest settings before I went to sleep last night, and uh, you know I don't like being, you know I don't like to wake up to being overheated or too hot. So I turned it down before I went to sleep, thinking it would you know keep it at a moderate temperature, 
and here's where we're at. Right now in the back of the truck, it's 67 degrees, and outside is 22 degrees, so that's a pretty awesome result, I would say. It also tells me that since I have it on one of the lowest settings, that it still has capability to keep up in much colder temperatures, so this was kind of just a test run, but I would like to take it, you know, to somewhere where, you know, it's below zero, significantly below zero, and see how it runs. First off, to see if it runs when it's that cold outside, and also how well it keeps up with the temperature. So that'll probably be one of my next goals is to, you know, find a colder environment. 22 degrees is still pretty chilly, but it can get much colder than that. So anyway, awesome. No one bothered me last night. I slept pretty well. I suppose it's probably around 8 o'clock. And I think some employees have started to show up around me here. So probably going to get up, make a little breakfast quick, and uh, get on with my day. So <sighs> get out of this sleeping bag and get some food going. Ugh. <sighs> It's much easier getting out of the sleeping bag when it's warm. That's a lot harder when you don't have a heat source and it's, you know, 20 degrees and the sleeping bag is keeping you nice and warm. It's hard to get motivated. This is so much better. Well, on to the food. Well, those of you that have watched my channel before know that I'm a huge fan of these instant oatmeal packets for breakfast when I'm truck camping. Uh, they're just quick, easy, not terrible, and uh, really create no mess because all you're doing is heating up water. So today I got the blueberry strawberry, I got a thing of orange juice, and uh, really all we gotta do is wait for this water here to quick come to a boil and it's really not a lot of water it shouldn't take too long and really in a couple minutes we should have some breakfast not fancy but something warm to eat when it's cold outside and it kind of gets you going for the day and when you're done there's not a lot to clean up so I like it I've never tried this flavor before. I usually like the strawberry one, but this is what the store had, so I'll try it out. Oh, that was pretty good. Not the homemade breakfast you'd like to have, but you know when you're on the road, it's quick and easy, and uh, it doesn't taste the worst either. Before I go, I'm gonna check the level of the diesel tank uh, for the diesel heater. I'm curious how much fuel it took to heat the back of this truck overnight, and that'll give me a good idea of how much fuel I'll have to bring along on a longer trip. Uh, it ran for probably nine, 10 hours, and straight through, and it has only a one and a half gallon tank, so I'm curious how much, I put about a gallon in it yesterday, so I'm curious how much it actually burned overnight, so check that and then get the heck out of here. All right, so I'm gonna shut the diesel heater off. I'm getting ready to go home, so just hit this center button right here, this one, and you just hold it until it says off. And you can hear it wind down. And it has a shutdown cycle of probably a minute or so where it cools down. And yeah, pretty simple stuff. So I'm looking at my diesel tank, which I put a gallon in yesterday. And it looks like, based on where the line was yesterday, I know you guys can't see it because I can't get the camera at the right angle, but it looks like we used about a fourth or maybe a third of a gallon of diesel, which is really efficient. I was going through about two or three of those green propane cylinders a day with my buddy heater, you know, for sure two. And, uh, you know, if I could go two, three, four days on a gallon and a half of diesel fuel, I mean, that is a significant savings. 
and uh, I'm excited to try it out when it's a little bit colder. I'm not sure if the, it would be as efficient if it was running at a higher speed, but uh, even at a third of a gallon, that's three days off $4.50, so that's pretty awesome. I'm excited to try it out in, in different environments. I made it back into my truck. It took me a little bit to get out of the back of the truck because I backed up to probably the busiest entrance into Costco. So there was a steady line of cars coming for quite some time. And I just took a little bit to find a gap in traffic where no one was coming. So anyway, I really, wrapping this up, I really wanna thank you guys for watching my videos. I know they're a work in progress, but I know you have a lot of choices for content on truck camping and van camping. And you know, I'm extremely honored that you guys would take your time to watch my videos. So if you like this kind of thing, please hit the like button, subscribe, or drop a comment below. Those comments, you know, give me feedback. What can I improve on? Also, you know, give me some ideas about other things I could make in the back of the truck that are quick and easy and uh, other places to go try this stealth camping. You know, there's a lot of stores you could do it at, but maybe there's some other ideas that you guys have. So anyway, thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it and we'll catch you on the next one.